Okay, guys, so um, I'm Dr. Severin. Uh, we'll be going over carotid auscultation. Really basic skill. If you know how to palpate the carotid artery, auscultating is pretty much a cinch. So uh, Josh here is going to be serving as our volunteer, um, and we'll be going over palpation and displacement for the listening. We're only going to demonstrate on his left side. Uh, you'll do the same thing on both sides. You always check bilaterally for auscultation of the carotids. Um, now, as a reminder, you really shouldn't hear much of anything when we're auscultating over any artery, especially at rest, because we have that laminar flow. You may hear a gentle hum noise, which may be from the venous. You may also hear some uh, projected sounds from the valve closures, because uh, you're gonna be listening kind of close to where the heart's located. Um, Josh is a pretty young, healthy guy, so you, you'll hear his if you auscultate him. So that's not abnormal. A brewy, um, would be kind of a whooshing noise, which we'll hear due to the turbulence, due to blockages in that um, in that lumen. So remember, again, if you have normal, clear lumen, we have laminar flow and silence. If we have blockages or anything, anything affecting the flow, creating turbulence, we'll hear some sound, and that's abnormal. Okay. Uh, so Josh, uh, you know, before we get started, I'm just going to kind of go over what we're going to be doing here. I'm going to be listening uh, to the sounds of the arteries to your neck. Okay. Me we'll palpating along your neck. Are you okay and comfortable with that? Sounds good. Okay, great. It's so always important too to make sure that we're explaining what patient you're gonna be doing to the patient, especially feeling in the neck. It's a very sensitive area. Okay. So first thing we're we'll gonna do is we're gonna identify the carotid artery. Um, really easy way to remember for most patients, you find the ramus of the mandible and just come down to that. You can form almost um, a barrier between the thyroid cartilage and the sternocleidomastoid, and it'll fall right in that triangle here for most patients, okay? Um, it's really easy pulse to identify. Um, some patients will even be able to visualize it, but we'll palpate his here, nice and strong. Okay, we're gonna place our scope in, and we always palpate first just so we know that, you know, we're replacing it first. Again, always your butt's facing towards your nose. We use a diaphragm for this. You can, I've seen some books using uh, the bell. We'll use a diaphragm for this. and his sound nice and clear. You may also get some uh, higher pitched tracheal noises too, potentially uh, if you're a little bit more uh, medial, um, closer towards the airways. But uh, that's carotid auscultation in a nutshell. Pretty basic skill. Uh, thank you, Josh, for your time. Um, that's it.